In Hernando, Mississippi, this is police dash camera video of Adrian Hoyle with his hands up surrendering. The canine attack and violent police arrest have sparked a $10 million lawsuit. In September of 2020, this incident involved a chase. A Hernando police officer had pulled over Adrian Hoyle, but when the officer went back to his patrol car, Hoyle stepped on the gas. The chase went on for several miles before Hoyle's car crashed. Moments later, you can see the canine police dog pounce and bite. As Hoyle got out and screamed in agony about the dog, two police officers then began their assault. The cops repeatedly punched and stomped on Hoyle. At one point after Hoyle was handcuffed, the video shows the officers kicked him while another officer stood on his back and wiped his feet on Hoyle's body like it was a floor mat. According to the lawsuit, Hoyle suffered dog bites and puncture wounds. These photos submitted in the case show some of the injuries. Hoyle said he had to get eight sutures to the chest and torso from the dog bites and tearing wounds. The suit specifically names Officer Len Brown for using excessive force and causing bodily injury without due process. The Hernando Police Department is also included for failing to enforce policy and procedures. An attorney for the Hernando Police Department is calling the lawsuit misleading and a total sham. He says Hoyle omits mentioning that he admitted to stealing the car he was in, running a light, and leading police on an erratic eight-minute high-speed chase. Hoyle's lawsuit is not the only one, though, against Hernando Police Officer Brown. In 2019, Jesse White and Christopher Ford were killed when Brown chased them and their car flipped over. Police had been told to terminate the pursuit, but Brown allegedly continued chasing them anyway and, quote, attempted a tactical vehicle intervention without regard to the number of passengers in the vehicle. The mother of one of the men has spoken out to the media. Linda White, quote, Brown bumped the car. You could see it. The evidence is there. And when he bumped the car, he sent it over the bank. He needs to be off the force. The FBI has now begun an investigation into Officer Len Brown and the Hernando, Mississippi Police Department's use of force. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. The FBI is also reportedly looking into allegations of racial bias. In both cases, the Hernando police officers were white, and each of the suspects were black. Hernando Police Chief Scott Worsham has confirmed the FBI's involvement and says two officers have been put on desk duty pending the outcome of the investigation. In the assault on Adrian Hoyle, captured on police dash camera, the newly released footage has prompted some very strong reactions. Robert Tipton with the local NAACP said, just looking at this, it's horrific. I wanted to say it could happen to anybody, but I doubt that I've seen too much here to believe that would happen to a young white boy. Indeed, as the video shows, the officers used closed fists in hitting Hoyle, dragged and kicked him, and let the dog bite him repeatedly. Police dog trainers and canine experts say the handler should have never done what he did and that there's a lot in this incident that contradicts canine protocols and training. Still, city leaders in Hernando, Mississippi are standing by Officer Brown and say the police department acted appropriately. So all of this is headed to a civil lawsuit courtroom in 2022. It will be up to a jury to decide if the police acted within their protocols or used excessive force.